I don't like the anime fairy tale. Therefore, Squid Game, the hit show, isn't about capitalism being bad or communism being bad. It's about fairy tale being bad. Now, I will explain why it is about that. It's because I don't like fairy tale. And personally, if I, don't, if I believe in something, if I don't like something, then Squid Game is critiquing that thing. So, fairy tale stars not Sue Dragneel. He is a dragon slayer. Now, Gi Hong, Gi Hong, I'm sorry if I said his name wrong. Please don't come after me. Uh, the main character, Squid Game, if his name was spelled differently, it'd be Natsu Dragneel. And he, in the Squid Game, he would have fire powers. He would shoot the fires out of his fist for his Nakaba. See, uh, Gi Hong, Gi, oh, I should just refrain from saying his name because I'm going to pronounce it wrong. Uh, Squid Game Man. I'm going to call him that. Squid Game Man would have fire powers and he he cares about his Nakama. He cares about his friends. He loves his friends so much, just like Natsu from Fairy Tale. But it's critiquing it because he fails to save any of his friends. All of his friends die. And it's critiquing Fairy Tale because if Natsu's friends would die, there wouldn't be a story and he would just be upset. But Gi, Gi, the Squid Game guy would uh, survive and go on, and he 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 pushes forward trying to stop the Squid Game. <clears throat> so yeah, it's not about communism or capitalism. It's about fairy tale and how bad it is. It's critique on that. Now, uh, Lucy Hartfilia represents the Sebyok. I think that's that name, right? Sebyok role. Because she is a woman, and uh, so is Sebyok. They're both women, but it's a, it's a critique on women, because Lucy still survives, except future Lucy. Don't ask me how I know that. I'm sorry, I watched this dumb anime. Anyway, it's a critique on that, because women exist. So, that's the reason, Okay. Now, let me go in further. Uh, the the Sang Won, he fills the role of uh, the Zeref. I think his name is Zeref. I don't know. I didn't finish it. Zeref, because he's evil. He's evil. And he's evil. And it's a critique on that because morality is gray. And the morality of the characters, it's a critique on that. And that's why Squid Game is so smart, you know? It just, it takes the things that I don't personally agree with or like, and it critiques that. Because I don't like it and agree with it. I also want to mention that Squid Game is also a critique on ranch dressing. I hate ranch dressing. It's a critique on how ranch dressing is bad. Because I hate ranch dressing, therefore Squid Game is about how bad ranch dressing is. Okay? So, can we just get that out of the way? Okay? Let's get that out of the way. Squid Game is a critique on things that I personally do not agree with or enjoy. Okay? That includes ranch dressing. I'm going to explain why. Again, let me, let, me, let me give you an example if you don't believe me. Squid Game, none of the characters are white except for the VIPs. And the VIPs are douchebags. Ranch dressing, you only eat ranch dressing if you are a douchebag. Therefore, Squid Game is a critique on ranch dressing. Okay? Glad we agree. So all you people out there saying it's a critique on capitalism or critique on communism, you're wrong. It's a critique on the things that I don't like. Okay? So everyone go watch Kaiji. I mean Squid Game. Um, okay? And come back to this video and tell me that you agree. Have a good day.